guys and dolls. Um, a few weeks ago, European Boxing News asked me, um, he's doing an end of the year video, and he asked me one of the questions was, um, who I think the most underrated boxer is. And at that time, I chose Andre Ward. Out of all the boxers I could have chosen, I chose Andre Ward because I really have followed Andre Ward for a long time. I really like his style and he has really grown and developed in such a beautiful, beautiful boxer. They're just pure class and he oozes with that whole sweet science stuff that we all really just love to talk about. Fancy. Fritz, I know you guys call Frotch the Cobra. I get that. I get overseas that he's this badass boxer, but American boxers, British boxers, just overall, it's just a different class general. Forget the difference in the way they fight, the style. Just overall, British boxers, American boxers, as a whole, it's just a different class. And I know you crotch frotchers are gonna hate all over me, but go fuck yourselves and find a better boxer to suck off, and then maybe I'll like your favorite boxer. Or just look like a top pound for pound fighter out there. He just really did, and either he is, or Frotch is just a decent fighter. I'm gonna go with a little bit of both on that. Frotch was just getting exposed the entire night. It made you really question how he even got to where he is. Like I said, I know he's badass in England, but fuck, man. He just wasn't looking good tonight. Nonetheless, the fight just got over, and we all knew it would go to the cards, thought it would go to the cards, hoped it wouldn't, and that he'd get that KO, but uh, Frotch somehow managed to stay in. Nonetheless, uh, Ward got that UD. Ward just fucking put in work, and beautiful work at that. In the last few rounds, he was looking in the crowd, looking at the clock. He was just comfortable as fuck, man. And he knew this was his night. So with this fight coming to a close, this long-anticipated fight coming to a close, what are your thoughts on Ward right now? He's no longer underrated, if you ask me. Tonight proved his skill. It... I don't imagine how... If you got that KO, it would have been amazing as well. But I don't imagine how it could have gone much better for Ward. It was just, he just, he just shined tonight, man. I'm just, he looked like a beautiful, well, he, throughout the entire bout, he was well composed and his feet, his footwork were just, just everything. He was just the total package today. I'm running off endorphins right now, so, um, I'll try to do another video where I'm a little bit more, um, What's it called when your words come out? Well, eloquent <laughs> with my words. Anyhow, guys, let me know what you guys thought about the bout by commenting below. And I will see you all maybe tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then on Monday for my full recap of this bout. Because this was the bout we all wanted. This is the bout that, um, gosh, it's been like, what, two years that we've all been waiting for this bout or something like that. Nonetheless, amazing bout. Very good bout. Very impressed with Ward. No longer an underrated fighter. So glad to see a fighter that you really like and that you've been watching since pretty much the beginning of his whole career, at least professional career, and you just see them grow. That is what is so amazing about this sport. I just, that is one of the reasons why I am in love with this sport. Maybe if I watched Ward or uh, Frotch from the get-go, I'd be more into him. He's just a dick to me. He's just a douche. I never really got into that guy, but Ward... Oh, man, just fucking awesome. Amazing fight. Anyhow, I'm rambling like a bitch. I am a bitch, huh? Nonetheless, okay, I will see you all uh, either tomorrow or Monday. Take care, comment below, and I'll try to calm down. I'm in a hotel room you guys can still see, so I need to be quiet because there's a neighbor right there and a neighbor right there. All right, <laughs> take care, bye.